Hi, I'm Ethan Schoonover, and this is a video about improving the fog of war technique using chroma key or green screen. Let's go ahead and dive into the computer and I'll show you what I mean. So here we are on the computer and I'm looking at my video uh, preferences inside of Zoom. Now this could be Zoom, could be Discord, could be Skype, could be Hangouts, whatever you're gonna be using to do role-playing games online. This is uh, just like, it's just video sharing, right? And a lot of these apps allow you to do things like share your screen. You can see that in the preferences right here on the left, in fact. But we're not gonna be doing that anymore. We're not gonna be using Zoom or Discord or Skype or any of these other applications to share your applications or screens. We're just gonna be sharing a kind of a magic webcam, a fake webcam, from a piece of software called OBS. So what I need to do is I need to create that fake webcam right now. So I'm gonna close Zoom preferences here and we'll come back to that. And I'm now in OBS. Now OBS is Open Broadcaster Studio and it just lets you mix and match a bunch of different feeds of audio and video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here to the sources window and I am going to add a new video source. And let's see, video capture device. And we'll just call this camera. And this is our integrated camera. So we're gonna go ahead and just click OK. That looks fine. And then in this main view, I've got my camera and I've got my mic. I'm gonna make this bigger. Let's stretch that out so it fits the screen. OK, so now I've got my first kind of fake part here, which is I'm capturing the integrated camera inside of the laptop. Now I'm going to go to the Tools menu, and I have installed a plugin called Virtual Cam. And I'm going to tell you, this, this is right now is only going to work on Windows. Um, they're working on this plugin for Mac, and it's really not there yet. Uh, there are paid applications that can replace OBS on the Mac that do the same thing. I'm not gonna cover those here. This is just sort of a proof of concept video. So I'm gonna click on Virtual Cam. Again, this is a plugin called OBS Virtual Cam. You have to download it separately from OBS. I am then going to click Start. And this now creates a fake webcam, which is actually running as we speak. So if I start Zoom again, and I go into the Preferences, you can see my integrated camera is dark because I'm hijacking it with OBS. And if I switch over to the OBS cam, there I am again. And you can see I'm actually a little bit bigger than I was before because I stretched that out, that video. All right, we're gonna close that and I'm gonna close this. Now, uh, for, okay, so we've got our kind of fake webcam going. What's happening is the camera feed is going into the uh, software that is OBS, and then it's going back out to this fake virtual webcam. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I've got Photoshop open. So we go over to Photoshop here. Now normally in Photoshop, if I'm gonna create a fog of war effect, um, I'm really not happy with the way fog of war usually works because it's gonna be something like, I'm gonna fill a layer like this, and then I'm gonna to start to erase, but I can never erase accurately if I can't see uh, where it is I'm trying to erase, right? So I'm down here and, oh, I meant to actually erase over here. We'll erase these uh, symbols for a moment. So. My, this, this whole concept of chroma key fog of war comes from the fact that I wanted to be able to see this whole map. And I'll give you an example of that. I wanted to be able to see it sort of like maybe, let's do 80%, whoops. Sort of like this, right? And I wanted the parts that are in shadow, I want to be able to hide from my players uh, while I want to be able to see it looking more or less like this. And I figured out a way to do that. So we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of that layer. Uh, Photoshop's open, that's great. Let's go ahead, by the way, this is a great uh, map of Keep on the Borderlands uh, Caves of Chaos by Dyson Logos. Uh, check out Dyson Logos if you don't already know them. They make amazing uh, old school style maps. You can see how beautifully rendered this is. Let's go back here to OBS. I'm now gonna add a window capture and the window capture, we're gonna call it PS map for Photoshop map, I guess. And I'm gonna choose the right window, I guess. Uh, there we go. I have to choose the right capture method and then I'm gonna say okay. So there, now I'm capturing um, Caves of Chaos. And if I go back to Zoom, you can see that in my webcam, in Zoom, I am seeing that, that capture. So I don't have to mess around anymore with um, sharing my screen. I can just do it via OBS. But you say, I hear you say, uh, there is a problem, which is where's my webcam? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this view over here and I'm gonna duplicate it. This is called a scene actually. And I'll call this new scene map. And then I'm gonna rename my initial scene and we're gonna call that camera. Oh, already in use. Okay, let's just, uh, it's really not, but it thinks it is. So we'll call it cam. Okay, so cam and map. And in the cam scene, I'm gonna turn off the map view. And then in the map scene, there you go. And I can in fact turn off the camera if I wanted to, or I could be fancy about it. And we could take that camera and we can make it smaller and kind of drop it there in the corner. 
maybe even smaller. And it'll be nice and it'll kind of cover up that layers palette a little bit as well. So now we've got picture in picture. I'm sharing uh, the map and we have two views that I can easily switch between. By the way, in OBS, uh, I could assign hotkeys to cam and map and it would be uh, easy for me to switch between the two of them. Okay, so next, uh, obviously this isn't good because my players can see the whole map, right? So I need to figure out some way to hide uh, parts of the map that they haven't visited from them. So we're gonna go back to Photoshop. And what I'm gonna add right now, I am gonna add, in fact, I have it right here, but I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna add a chroma key layer we're going to call this, I guess, uh, Chroma Key Fog. And then I'm going to go over to the Color Picker palette, and I'm going to pick a green, pure green, 02550 in the RGB space. Then we click OK. And I'm going to fill this layer with pure green. Uh, if I go back to, you can see that's what it looks like in OBS right now. It doesn't really work. Uh, what I need to do is I need to set it to 80% or thereabouts. Could be more or less. And now I'm going to add a layer mask. I like to use layer masks when I'm trying to erase stuff. And because it's very easy for me to just switch the colors of the brush and then put it right back. All right, there we go. So I'm going to erase just the entrance. And let's go ahead and add a star, like a blue star there. I'm going to go back. Still doesn't look very good. My players can see the whole thing. I'm not fooling anybody yet. Oh, well, hold on now. I'm going to go into the PS map source. I'm going to add a filter, and that filter is chroma key. And that is it. That's all you need to do. Now, one more thing I might do is I might add a color source, and we'll just call this matte, like a matte background. We'll click OK. We'll drag that below the map. And now my players are just going to see the map uh, that I have revealed to them while I see all of this. So I'm moving around, I can zoom in and out like this, and I can even start to erase more as they explore. And I can be very precise about this because I see the whole map and I know that they're coming up to room 17 in those stairs. And so I can tell them that the sound of certain doom is they can hear it echoing down the halls or they can hear water trickling down the stairs because I know it's coming up. Uh, this just makes me so much happier. And let's go ahead and zoom in. So you can see, I, I see this. My players see this, and it's great. I love it. Uh, that's Chroma Key Fog of War. It's a, this is all going out to Zoom right now. So uh, if we look at what my players will see, that's what they're seeing. They're seeing this is being shared out uh, live as a webcam feed, basically. And like I said, you can also switch back and forth between the full cam and the map if you wish to. You could add other sources from other applications. So it's really easy. Like I could have an image, uh, like a, some sort of image browser, and uh, quickly bring up some static images if I want to show them pictures of NPCs or what have you. So there you go. Um, you can do more with this. Like if I wanted to be really fussy, I could make this uh, completely full screen. Uh, or I could even hide, say, let's hide the tools. And it looks even cleaner like that. So there we go. That's my my view. Oh, w uh, one thing I want to mention, actually, <laughs> I should have started off with this maybe, but uh, before we leave is what happens if you have a map that has a lot of green in it? And in fact, you can kind of see probably where I'm going with this already. But uh, if I zoom in, this is a beautiful uh, Devon Roo map, by the way. And... It looks a little funny. Like uh, I go back here, you can see it's got all this green in it, and then I go back to OBS. Well, it's because I'm green. I'm chroma keying it uh, with green. So really, what I need to do in this case is go to my filters, and I'll add another chroma key, and that chroma key is going to be I'll call it chroma key M, and we'll make it magenta, and I'll turn off the green chroma key, and we'll close this. Now, if I use a magenta chroma key, it looks a lot better, and I can then use a magenta layer to tone everything as magenta, and then only the stuff that isn't magenta is going to show up here. So magenta might work better just as sort of a general purpose chroma key instead of a green if you're going to use this technique. Um, boy, I don't know. I think this is a pretty neat hack. Uh, it's, uh, I, I think you can see where I'm taking it, and you can do this with a lot of other applications, like I mentioned. You could add any, any application besides Photoshop. Uh, you could use GIMP for this as well if you want to use all free software. Uh, but like I said, it's only going to really work on Windows right now. So. There's that. Unless you use, there's a proprietary applications that can do this kind of virtual cam. Uh, I don't know how much they cost. I haven't looked into it. I'm just using OBS for now. So there you go. So that was it. That was Chroma Key Fog of War. If you find this useful, I'd love to hear from you. I'm at Ethan Schoonover on Twitter. Good luck.